Good morning, folks. Last night, I received the parcel I had ordered from NCIX. I don't know if you can see it here. Try and get a good shot of that. It's a keyboard and mouse combination they had on special. I was kind of short control devices since I uh, donated my last set to the, the uh, XP rig I had set up. So this video is going to be the unboxing of this particular keyboard and mouse. Now they had it on sale at NCIX. Uh, what was it now? Mm, I'll look up the receipt, but it was about half price, about 40, $47 on sale. And after uh, taxes and everything, came to around $50. But there is a mail-in rebate for $10. I'll bring it back down to the $40, $40 mark there. So I'm rather pleased with this purchase. Got a relatively good deal on it. Um, so yes, it's a dev it's a it's by Cooler Master. Dude, <laughs> and it's a Dude, Devastator it's cool. Gaming Gear Combo. That's the MB24 keyboard and the M52K gaming mouse and it has the red backlight to it. So this is my first actual gaming keyboard and I don't know I would have gotten a, um, a regular keyboard and mouse for my stuff at my, my place but uh, even, even a regular mouse and keyboard don't cost uh, aren't very cheap either, right? So I mean, forty dollars for any keyboard and mouse combination is not a bad, bad price. So I have to look for a few things, and I'll be back. Just pause the video. Okay, I'm back. Well, I managed to find myself a steak knife. I had to clean it off a bit. The kitchen's a bit of a of a mess at the moment. Uh. I do actually have a tool for opening packages, but I don't know where that is right now. Um, the ex and the kids have it somewhere. So normally I wouldn't be using a big steak knife like this, but uh, I don't want to spend all day looking for that tool. Okay. Oop. Bit of an artifact there. Hey, right, you know how we open this? Oh yes, okay, we got that little latch there. And a little latch here. Oh crap. I can't aim using my phone here. I don't have a proper video camcorder, what have you. Uh, otherwise this would be a lot more professional. <laughs> yeah. Uh, almost had it open. Bend it over. You can. You might better hear my daughter in the background there. She's on Minecraft right now. I think playing on her her elementary OS PC. Yes, that's right. Scared. Elementary OS PC. I'm probably get some purists criticizing me for calling a Linux machine a PC, but I don't know. It's a personal computer. It's running Linux, but it's still a PC. And the Mac's still a PC. Sorry, Mac Pierce. I, I don't... It's still a personal computer. It's just Mac's version of it. Apple's version. So... Ah! Uh, darn, these cardboard... Protects the mice. Protects the device well, but... Sure, it's a pain in the butt to take out. Okay, here we go. I'll put the cardboard there for now. One more mess for me to clean up. So the mouse is kind of free. Yeah, let's free the keyboard now if we can. Sorry about that key. Losing my focus here. There we go. Another keyboard. So I'm going from a, key, a wireless keyboard and mouse to a wired set. And I thought I was going ahead, getting a moving ahead, getting a wireless set. Now I got myself a wired set. But I guess game for gaming, you want that wired connection for the improved reliability and speed, I suppose. Probably more reliability when you're talking about speed. As long as they're both reacting the same, it's pro uh, 
reacting at the same time. I suppose there's not much difference in speed, but certainly you don't get that interference from microwaves and other electronics cutting you out once in a while on a wired device as opposed to a Bluetooth device. So I'll just put this box over. I'll put it here at the Christmas wrap. Merry Christmas to me. Okay. Now, let's get this. Oh, it's a bit dark, I know. I gotta move all my, all, bleh, pardon my language. I've gotta move all my junk around. Oh, pretty squirrels, put your dishes away when you're done. Holy crap. Okay, so. <coughs> oh, more of my garbage. Let's have a look at some of these devices. All right. There's my mouse. So let's have a good look at this. There's some buttons on the side, which I have to learn about. Is that focused? Not very well. CM Storm. CM Strom. Oh, the German version version of Storm. Rubber grips on the side. There's a button there. And the scroll wheel. Rubber pads on the bottom. Oh, it's very nice. Nice size to it, too. Wow. I am a little impressed, actually. It's a very nice mouse. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this keyboard. No, I don't know what's so special about gaming keyboards. Special key mappings, I suppose. But I know how to key map my own keyboards. Or I can figure it out. I mean, I use Linux and OpenBSD and... Oh, Narnia, come here. Come here, dog. I'm ignoring the dog and she's getting upset. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. How are you? Yeah. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You want me to clean up this room later? Yeah? Huh? This place is a mess, huh? It is, I know. I'll clean it up. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. So we're talking about this keyboard. I don't know if this is good enough view. It's still got the plastic on it. I'll take that off. CM Strom. So those must be a special... Key bindings. Oh yeah, they're definitely keys. Ugh. Probably would have been a good idea if I had my light on for this, but and there's some writing there. Oh no, there's no writing there. That's just clear. And there's some more buttons up here. Yeah, those are definitely buttons, so I have to figure out those. Those are mapped too. Actually, got your regular keys. Uh, got a good feel to it. Not mushy or anything. Slight click, not very well. Ah. Oh, Dog! Oh, you got your elbow on my toe! <laughs> Ouch! Alright. She had her elbow on my big toe. <laughs> Check out the underside here. We got some stands and rubber feet. Change your angle. Of your keyboard. Oh, under someone's head. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit more than I was intending to pay for. And mouse and keyboard and shortly after I bought this online I did find my spare keyboard which is a normal keyboard not a gaming keyboard and it's a wired one as well but I already ordered this so I'll definitely keep the other keyboard as a spare it's a good little keyboard too I uh, salvaged it from my daughter's computer there the elementary one elementary OS that is because a friend of hers had spilled syrup or honey or something all over it. So I managed to clean it off yeah, with cold water and some soap. And lots and lots and lots of cold water. 
I managed to clean it out, but even after they dry out, I'm going to splash some alcohol in there to help dry it out faster. Make sure I got all the water out. It still didn't seem to... Some of the keys didn't want to operate. But it's been sitting up in my shelves there for about a month or so now. The, this is the old keyboard I'm talking about, of course, now. And I was using it the past week, Sans Mouse. And it seems to be fine. All the keys seem to be working now, so there must have been some residue or residual moisture in there that uh, was maybe shorting out some of the keys, but didn't burn it out entirely. So I've got myself a spare keyboard. Well, two spare keyboards. I've got a uh, flexible keyboard as well, but that thing is a pain to use. So I'm glad I have myself a solid spare keyboard as well as a flexible rubber one. So I should be set now. Until the next time I donate a keyboard to another device. <sighs> yeah. So in a moment here, I'll just show you the setup I have in this trailer here with my XP gaming rig and my daughter's um, elementary Linux OS PC. Hi, Narnia. Hey, girl. Look over here. No, no, she's, she's, she's comfortable. Okay, I'll let it be. So this is the XP Gaming Rig over here. It's the one I built. It's got Windows oh, XP Home on it. So I could play some old games that only play on Windows and or DOS. So I could play some of the DOS games on Linux or OpenVSD via DOSBox or ScumVM. But... I don't want to build anything. And then over here is my daughter. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> she's playing Minecraft. I think she's, I think she's on one of the hives, hives there. And of yeah, course, the know. PC that she's running is an HP. It's an HP I inherited, and I put elementary OS on it for her, as I didn't have a uh, alternative ah. Windows license, and I didn't want to put XP on it. Or her seeing it was going to expire, or ELL, rather, end of that year. And, uh, oh. by the looks of it, you'd almost think she's a coffee drinker. And one of those just might be her cups of coffee, but uh, one of those are either her mom's or her sister's, I'm not sure. What? The coffee cups, who are, whose are those? Uh, those are hot chocolate. Oh, hot chocolate, ah, oh, see, maybe they are hers. Yeah. She's not allowed to have too much oh, coffee. Wait, She's mind. quite young. <laughs> All right. And that is the wireless keyboard and mouse I donated to the XP rig. And of course, that's the uh, keyboard I had to replace. The new keyboard I gave my daughter there when her old one got all messed up by her, her friend. Dad, don't 